President Museveni insists that there is no Ugandan that the government cannot account for, whether dead or alive. Responding to questions on forced disappearances, illegal detentions and extrajudicial killings, Museveni says he only knows of the arrests of rioters in 2020. There were some mistakes. We some people who were really arrested, but we, we corrected those mistakes. We showed the security forces what to do in writing. Uh, so there is nothing that uh, can go wrong, and we don't know, and then we don't correct. We are, we are, we are but by, by people who are panicking, security people who are panicking. Uh, but those are all being trained and, uh, and, 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 and guided what to do. Asked about his son, General Muhozi Kainerugaba's presidential ambitions for politics while serving in the military, Museveni says the new stance to such officers is to guide them on the best practices as arrest will not deter their ambitions. And others have actually come out to endorse you and others are endorsing General Muhozi Kainerugaba. As the Commander-in-Chief of the military, do we see you taking action because this is in violation of the UPDF Act? Uh, these are, are small matters. But you see, so, not, not, ever, not every matter needs action or, 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 or punishment. Or, or, no. We don't have to arrest people to say we arrest you. No, we say no. We guide. We guide. Now, you are talking about the elections of 1926. We now have uh, many issues to deal with. Let's concentrate on them. The time for the elections will come. However, some military officers, including retired General David Sejusa, Colonel Chizabe CJ, and Lieutenant General Henry Mukunde, have been held liable for uttering statements linked to their political ambitions. In weighing in on the matter, FDC Party President Patrick Amuriat said the ongoing situation is a ploy by Museveni to hoodwink the opposition. This is something that is well planned and executed to portray a fight between father and son, a fight between son-in-law and father-in-law, a fight between wife and husband. On whether he would hold his son accountable for his Twitter writings, including one where he threatens to crush journalists believed to be opposed to him, Museveni says they have discussed and agreed on the way forward on the matter. Recently, you came out and said you're going to stop him from making these reckless statements online. What has failed you, Mr. President? I'm not aware of, 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 those, uh, of, of those threats or what we discussed with Mwazi was uh, treating, treating, you can treat on uh, non-controversial uh, subjects like sports and so on. Uh, we, we, guided, we guided on, on, on that one. Nonetheless, Museveni says he wants to be remembered for his sacrifice for a better Uganda. First of all, to, for having worked with the NRM and with the people, save Uganda from being a failed state. On Tuesday, President Museveni plans to address the nation on what he says are matters of national importance, according to a statement from the president's office. We 